steel and tube has come a long way since its early beginnings in the 1950s uh, when three steel merchants, Stewards and Lloyds, the Iron and Steel Company, McLean and Todd's first merged to form the company that we recognise today as Steel and Tube. Over the past 60 years we've navigated our way through various expansions, restructures, realignments to be the company that we are today. A New Zealand owned and operated company, a major company on the New Zealand Stock Exchange and the leading supplier and distributor of steel products in New Zealand. We've got an extraordinary range of products. We can supply anything steel related from the smallest washer through to an 18 metre length of structural steel. One of the projects that we're most incredibly proud of is the Waterview Tunnel project here in Auckland. A significant New Zealand infrastructure project which demonstrates how a long-standing customer relationship and working together with our customer using our expertise meant we could use innovation to manufacture reinforcing cages for these tunnels. The overall project 66 months, our work kicked in in July 2013 and is expected to finish in June 2015. The Waterview project is one of the most important infrastructure developments ever to take place in New Zealand. It involves construction of 4.8 kilometres of six lane motorway to link State Highway 16 and 20 and therefore complete Auckland's much needed western ring route. Half of this new motorway link will be underground in Australasia's largest road tunnel. It's been constructed using a custom built tunnel boring machine called Alice and at this point is 1,400 metres travelled. The southern portal is over halfway completed. The biggest challenge in this job is the logistics. It's managing the right cage at the right time. The casting factory works two full-time shifts and they're producing on a, on a good week up to 390 castings. So that's 390 of these cages have to be supplied every way. You'll see that these particular cages have welded ladders. This particular design saved the project several million dollars. Prior to the tender process, we identified the welding of the ladders as being a major problem. Manual welding was going to take 12 to 18 months longer than an automatic machine would take. We went off, purchased an Italian ladder making machine, brought it to New Zealand, commissioned it, and that's producing the ladders for the project. Incredibly proud of that, it was working fantastically well. It's the only machine in the Southern Hemisphere that can weld this diameter bar automatically. In a day, in 11 hour shift, uh, we do 11 hour shift, uh, we can put through about 10 tonne of wires on the machine. The put out on the machine is about 300 litres uh, on the type uh, 1 or type 2 radials. Uh, straights, we can go up to 600 pieces a day. This project is like being the spider with a web. There are so many parts that come together. You've got 1,272 bars every day, you've got 12 and a half tonne of steel, you've got 280 ladders, you've got the best part of 40 plus people involved every day. Wet or fine, you have to put it together. It's the sort of thing that comes along once in a lifetime and we just uh, uh, live for these sorts of jobs.